So, think about it logically. Uh, there's a Lord telling Moses to kill a man for picking up sticks on a Sabbath. There's another one, I think it's in Leviticus. Um, I think you can and can't eat. You can't eat four-legged fowl. Another one, if it's got feet below its legs. Little baby dies. Where's it go? Heaven. If you come like a little child, when you die, you know what's going to happen? Heaven. Everyone's heard the name Jesus. It's not a problem. It's a worldwide prophecy. Okay. Look at the other way around. You're God. You've got this lovely big palace. You've got everything in a child can adore. Child shows up. Used to be a prostitute. Then you go. I was severely criticised for actually doing what Ash suggested. And there's this beautiful woman in a very small pair of jeans, shorts. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. And she's wearing a white shirt. And she's actually manifest from this. Uh, like an iPad or something like that. And this guy wants to distract some policemen that pulled him up his speed. So he presses a button at the front of the vehicle about 100 metres away. There's this woman walking towards you and she's absolutely gorgeous. Because when she gets there, he then presses a button and she starts doing a sexy dance. Like, no man can take her eyes off. While the cops are looking at these two, and uh, the uh, two cops are looking at this woman dancing, the guy jumps out the other side and he races on. He goes to the top hill. He thought, oh, and he ends up there having a rest, leaning against a tree, sort of thinking to himself how smug he is, that he's going to create himself another gorgeous babe, which he does. And she's crawling towards him, and everything's hanging out. Looks gorgeous, you know. Then the battery goes flat. That's what happens when you're 69. So, I got criticised. Now, the point is this. A person who believes in me 100% doesn't criticise God for getting a job done that they have no comprehension of how it has to be done. And if I was to attract a thousand men to that by this gorgeous babe and win one of them over, it's worth it. But what my critics miss is that on her T-shirt, she's got I, no, Jesus, a heart between his gorgeous breasts, loves me. That's what it means. I do. Then I was asked if I'd like to have sex with that woman. And this is where the idea behind it is to win over one man that is poking his head through the door of a brothel. That's what it's all about.
Now, the Jews, what they've done is back themselves into a very nasty corner. They believe this idiot of the Old Testament that's always given orders and how you've got to worship and if you don't, kill them. How they can take all the virgins for themselves and this is the same mentality. Right? <coughs> this actually happens. And with the Talmud, they have created themselves uh, to be surrounded by non-human beings in in fact, our animals in human form put on the earth to serve them. That's about the most un-Jesus thing you can do. Gentlemen. Right? But because of that, the laws that come through are so uh, serious that if they go against them, it could mean the death. Sounds a lot like Freemasonry to me. Sounds a lot like the Vatican to me. Sounds a lot like atonement to me. So, you can't kill your way into heaven. Sorry. That's why you've got to be like a little child. It doesn't care what religion you are or what colour you are. If you're my child, you're coming into heaven before man has corrupted you. Now I read one page of the Quran. That's it. Don't go any further, it's not me talking. Same with Deuteronomy. I read a few lines, that's it. Nothing to do with it. <coughs> and you too shouldn't have anything to do with it. It's that simple. If you read something that offends, get rid of it. If there's something in the Muslim faith that offends, get rid of it. If it's not good for everybody, I'll give an example. A person gets himself a gun and he goes out and kills a couple of Jews and now he goes to heaven because he got blown up or whatever in the bomb he was wearing or whatever. Whatever. He gets uh, 72 virgins burned. In the original when you read the oldest manuscript, if you move the two dots, it becomes, not virgins, it becomes grapes. <laughs> That's how fucking stupid you are. Now, the South America, we're Catholic. I was born in a Catholic church. Wouldn't you think that the Pope would like to see me? If not, why not? Well, ask him. Yes, I have approached the Catholics, and they've been watching me and every move I make since day one. They knew exactly when I was going to be born. Because it's all in the Great Pyramid. It's all in the Mayan calendar. It's all in the crossing of the Milky Way galaxy. That's why the Catholics have a, a gigantic biopia. It's two mirrors, gigantic things. And can get the most accurate images of space even more accurately than the Space Hubble, even though they're dealing with the atmosphere to look through. It's called Lucifer, acronym. It's in America. Just for the cost of that thing, they could have fed some money. That's not the point, isn't it? What do, you, what do you believe telescopes for when you're looking for a crisis going to come back? You should have an application form in every fucking post office and every church. You think you're Christ, don't you? Well, you're going to fill out the form. That's what it should be like. Or I should just walk into where they're saying the Lord's Prayer at the opening of Parliament. I just should walk in and say, I don't know what I mean. Can you prove it to yeah. Of course, I have done this with the Australian government and the government of Canada. 
which replied by, he's very nice about it, they tried to kill me. Whoa. Yeah. So let's say I was a lunatic that wanders in off the street, got three kids, and I've, I've had this Kundalini experience, and I think I'm Jesus. Matter of fact, the lunatic is someone that full of people on And you walk in to a police station, or a court, or a church, or a government building, or parliament, tell them who you are, and they would pounce on you and take you in. Don't even think about it. But what they should do is say, hey, why do you think that? And the guy will rave on about some lunacy. Okay, come with me. And they look after him and make sure everything's right. And he's got a wage and he can look after his family. And no matter if he's locked up in the hospital, he should be getting paid so his family can still live. Because he's good man. Make sense? So when I'm king, and finally the Catholics have their Christ coming, and he lands on the front door where I'm, wherever I am, and walks up. I'll have him locked up and thrown away by the keyway. They're very bad. What part of fuck off don't you understand? 